internet and welcome to Gorilla Theory. And in this video today, we're going to be figuring out why, why do the gorillas have gorillas not have legs? Me personally, I'm not sure either. But today, me, or should I say we, are actually going to explain why the gorillas have gorillas are legless. Anyways, I'll leave my so-called special guest to it. Hello Internet, welcome to Gorilla Theory. Today's theory is about the virtual reality game Gorilla Tag. For the channel's first theory, we're gonna see why the gorillas in this game don't have any visible legs. Gorilla Tag is a very unique game with its one-of-a-kind locomotion system, which seems to entertain a vast audience. So why are the gorillas legless and how strong are they really? First of all, let's go back a bit. Gorilla Tag was first inspired by a game called Echo VR, which Lemming, the creator of Gorilla Tag, used to play competitively. After playing this, he knew the locomotion system in the game wasn't used to its full potential. He took it upon himself to develop and release Gorilla attack. I believe that why the gorillas have no legs is because using analog sticks in a game with no lower appendages would just be rather strange. Another theory is that one day, the first ever gorilla on his tiny little forest planet woke up and had his legs brutally chopped off by some unknown character. Kinda dark to say the least, especially for a game with cute little Minecraft looking gorillas and a young player base. Overall, I think that with legs, this game wouldn't be nearly as popular as it is today. This got me thinking though, does that mean every gorilla tag fan slash ripoff game put their primates through this awful torture, cutting off the legs of every single creature on every animal repeatedly for them to all suffer the same fate? Once again, I'd probably say that for lore-based reasons, the monkey's legs either fell off or were chopped off. Either way, we know why the gorilla tag monkeys don't have legs, and uh, we'll explore what's yet to come soon. So, did the gorillas get into some sort of terrible accident that may have caused this? I would say maybe, or maybe not. One other thing we can refer to is genetics. You see, the genetics of a gorilla tag gorilla could have been mutated to get rid of their legs. Basically, the genetics of a gorilla tag gorilla may have forced it to lose its legs as genetic mutations are very common. And with gorillas having legs, a gorilla may have been born, had a gen genetic mutation, and made it lose its legs. I don't want to make this sound like a history channel, but I remember learning about genetics myself in history. Back in the day, humans only used to have brown eyes, until one day, a genetic mutation formed, which formed one human to have blue eyes, while the rest had brown eyes, which was very cool. And this expanded onto our eye colors. Obviously, that's not related to the theory though, so I'll scrap that idea. Just keep that in mind. With the genetics in mind, that could have been the same thing that might have happened to the gorilla tag gorillas. It could have been born with a genetic mutation and then was forced to use its arms to move around. But now that we've covered some of the reasons on why the gorilla tag gorillas don't have legs, well, how would they adapt from this? How could they restructure their lives without having the ability to have legs? How could they get around from the genetic mutation or the more brutal way like Smoke said. Either way, it seems that the girls would have to have a lot of upper body strength to complete their actions by moving around with their hands, carrying up to their full body weight, which must be very hard as you would need a lot of upper body weight going from your shoulders to the palm of their hands. I personally believe that the girls would obviously have a lot of upper body strength to carry their whole entire body just by the palms of their hands. This would also mean they have to have a lot of muscle in their arms. That's probably their, that's probably why their arms are actually so chunky, as well as the body. It could just have a lot of muscle and not be chubby, like everyone says, calls everyone fat chunky monkeys. That's mean, don't say that. If we look at the real weight of an actual gorilla in real life, it can weigh up to 130 kilograms, the 227 gorilla kilo 227 227 grams, 227 kilograms on average, which is very heavy, especially for me, who has very weak arms in real life. I am not strong. That must be very difficult to carry. I presume if the gorilla tag gorillas had legs, they could be a more powerful being. They could cause harm to civilization. I don't have any more things to say, I'm just confused. Another thing that I'd like to say is what if the gorillas started a ritual? Yes, a ritual. Stay with me here. What if one day the gorillas were messing around and accidentally one of the gorillas got their legs chopped off? Yes, I know I'm kind of using this idea again. Don't not get mad at me. And basically, one of the days that the gorillas lost their legs, the other gorillas followed that ritual and basically they lost all of their legs and because their legs are not there, they didn't have the DNA inside them to pass it on to other gorillas. So would that mean they just cut their legs off and they just said, no, we don't need the legs anymore. We can just get rid of them permanently. We don't need these anymore. I think they seem to know how to adapt by using their hands and not by using their legs. So, I mean, it doesn't seem like it's a bad thing, but it doesn't seem like it's a good thing either. Because what if they preferred to have legs? What if they didn't want to use their arms all the time? What if they got tired? 
Oh my god, that voice crap! Either way, what if they did do this? And if you have any ideas yourself, comment them down below in the comments. After one piece of evidence to another, I think that sums it up for today. I'm pretty sure we all know why why the gorillas are actually legless, le legless now. If this did help and answer your theory on this, well, consider subscribing. It, it's free and it helps me out a ton. Also, we also know by a short summary on why the gorillas are actually so strong and how they can keep themselves up with just their body strength, which is really cool to know. If you think there's some more people that would be great for joining the Gorilla Tag Theorist team, then comment down below the names as I would greatly appreciate them for joining the team.